Oh, just the, one of those days where you wake up and you feel like you're just not good enough. Oh, it's all such a task. It's a battle. But I really wanted to do this. A couple of reasons. Either I totally misunderstood it and I wasn't tagged by the amazing, wonderful, friendly, awesome Joss Jane. Or I did understand it and I was tagged by the beautiful Joss Jane. Either way, I mean, if I was tagged, uh, that's awesome. And if I wasn't, how how wonderful is that? It's at the town red, which is fun because I can pick out some fragrances. Like I've been doing a lot of hauls lately and just sort of a lot of first impressions. You know, it gives me an opportunity to talk about fragrances that I've worn a lot. I know very well. And also uh, in this group of fragrances, red bottles, red juice, I can talk about the fragrance I wore to my wedding, which is... Honestly, sincerely, one of my favorite fragrances. It's so weird. Um, I don't think very many people have it. I have only ever heard one person talk about it, Maria Meliora, who is awesome. I don't know, should I start with that one? Oh wait, no, the winner uh, of the bottle of Water Lily Tea Dress. Their YouTube name is Kane Payne. My email is in the description box below. Yeah, just email me and uh, We'll make arrangements and I'll ship the bottle to you. So congratulations to Kane Payne. Okay, so set the town red. So the first one is from Juliet Has a Gun. It's called Mad Madame. From the moment I smelled this fragrance, I knew I had to have it. I was at Sephora. It was just a random thing. I smelled it and it was, I just felt like I had never smelled anything like this before. I love rose fragrances. I love floral fragrances. But this one is, there's something really spank about it. And I think it's very sexy and also very bitchy. And so for me, it was love at first sniff. I'm just going to smell it. Oh, wow. This truly, oh my God. I wore this to my wedding. This smell makes me so happy. On Fragrantica, Mad Madame is considered a chic of fragrance. And the notes are rose, black currant, amber, freesia, patchouli, moss, tuberose, peony, and jasmine, castorium, white musk, tolu balsam, and vanilla absolute. Yeah, it might be a little even alaman up. Uh, alamanic. Oh my god, Richard, please. If I even get this up on YouTube today, like, I mean, just if this video actually happens, I'll be so proud of myself because I'm just like. Oh God, guys, I'm a mess. What I smell out of this is, maybe it's slightly, it like, can sort of like, there's a little bit of animalic, metallic, um, really, the rose in this smells like red roses, like you're just crushing the petals and like smelling the oils from the petals, like in, in like in real life, immediately. As soon as you, like there, it's in your hands. The rose in this is such, for me, an accurate representation of rose. But then it's got all of these other really like, kind of like jazzy, stank, swank notes around it that make it so unusual. I want like people to smell this. I don't know if it would be really a crowd pleaser because it's a lot, but it is one of my most favorite fragrances and I will always have Mad Madame. This is great but you gotta really be showing out to wear it. So one thing about this is, I think that everything that I swapped with this person was legit, um, but since I have no reference for it, I'm not really sure if what I'm getting is the like legit experience. So I'm excited today because I'm gonna look at the notes. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is for me, it's, I get actually a lot, like a, a very sort of fresh floral. It's, sorry, the floral, it's not like strong floral, but it's just, if clean laundry had a floral touch to it. It's very sort of bounce chic. Um, and so I don't know if that's like what it's meant to smell like. I have worn it. Um, I kind of make myself wear it because I trade it like Clive Christian for this. Yeah, I mean, I know, Clive Christian is supposed to be amazing, but I had three of their fragrances and they all smell to me really basic and 
I made a swap with someone who had all of these um, discontinued scents, and yeah, so I just thought, whatever, I'm never going to wear these kind of fragrances, so I swapped it for um, Versace Versus. So it's supposed to be raspberry plum, violet, blackcurrant, aldehydes, peach, green notes, bergamot, rose, sandalwood, tuberose, jasmine, lily of the valley, benzoin, amber, vanilla, musk, and cedar. Okay, that's a shit ton of notes. I don't know if anybody has this bottle and they know it's legit, let me know and tell me if it's a similar thing. I get, you know, sort of like a nameless kind of like floral. I get powder in the form of like a bounce shoot. I really became obsessed with discontinued fragrances. I bought a lot of them and I have to say that for the most part, it I haven't felt that like connection to them like I thought I would and just the scents themselves like before you smell it well one thing is it's hard to sample discontinued fragrances so you have to kind of just buy them and then once I get them I'd be like okay this is okay but often I find it's not better or sometimes even equal to um how amazing new fragrances are and what like some of the houses are doing these days with creativity and even if I just compare these two with no other reason to compare them than this is new and this is old but um, this is so much more interesting and cool and funky and this is good I mean people really love this on the internet and for me it's a like Versus by Johnny Versace, Donna Rivera all right, and we keep going. So the next one is Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiori. I have to say I have had all but one of the blooms. Um, right now I have three, and I think that this is nearly my favorite. It might be my favorite. Gucci Bloom. Oh, that's pretty. I love floral fragrances so much. So there's not a lot of notes listed for this, but it's jasmine, honeysuckle, tuberose, damask, rose, and orris. I get a soft buttery, floral, it's sweet in a way that's warm, almost tender, it's soft, but it's not like edible sweet, gourmand sweet, candy sweet, it's not like that, it's just like a tender, soft, sweet warmth, um, and there, there's also like a crispiness to it. Yeah, I really like this. I have to say that when I wear it, it's close to the skin and it sort of is like, um, you have a, like a, the aura of the fragrance kind of. Um, I don't think the projection is great on this. You can softly smell it, but it's basically close to the skin the whole time. But this is really out of the blooms. This is pretty. There's something whimsical about this for me. and. And it's juicy in a way. Yeah, Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiori. So the next one I'm gonna do is another Gucci fragrance, and this is Gucci Rush. You know what, I bought this because I loved Gucci Envy, and I did have this when it first came out, so it's kind of like, you know, a nostalgic thing. Connecting this to Gucci Envy doesn't make sense, but that is why I bought this now, because I had Gucci Envy then, even though I did have Gucci Rush. Okay, so for the notes in Gucci Rush are peach, Gardenia, African freesia, petals, coriander, damask, rose, jasmine, patchouli, vanilla, and vetiver. And I think when it came out, it was interesting. It's still interesting. Um, but for me, it's like, it's not strong enough. Lots of reasons and occasions for fragrance, and every fragrance doesn't have to knock you on your ass. And this isn't mild, or, well, maybe mild is good. It's soft, I think it has okay longevity. It doesn't have a great projection from my experience, but I, my nose could be all messed up, who knows? God, I did do a lot of drugs when I was younger. Well, there would be a lot of people who would like this. There's a sweetness, there's a powderiness. It's actually, although in many ways quite different, these two fragrances kind of do the same job. So you could buy one or the other or neither. The next fragrance is, of course, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. My husband bought this for me for my birthday and I really appreciated it because it's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I'm sorry. Like, okay, first things first, like I'm obsessed with cherries in general. They're my favorite fruit. I just had, um, uh, I got it from Italy, that bottle of like, um, cherries and syrup, the Italian bottle, and it's like white with blue sort of like designs on it. It's called like Emelina. This reminds me of that a lot. Everybody knows about this fragrance. For me, I, I spray about 10 sprays, which is a lot for an expensive fragrance. But if I spray 10 sprays, I can smell it all throughout the day. I think there's just something about this opening that just has like a very like positive, like desired effect on me that I love it. I just, I love this fragrance so much. It's juicy. It's just exactly what I want. I love cherries. So I love how this plays out. Mm, oh my gosh, you made it. Guys, if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you. Yeah, some days are better than other days. I don't know what is going on inside of me right now, but I just have had a crazy day internally, you know? Uh, but I'm really happy that I did this. I really appreciate you watching. I've been getting some wonderful comments lately and likes and, you know, people are watching the, the videos and I appreciate it. And you know what? I'm Even though this one's kind of a train wreck for me when I'm done, which is going to be any minute, I'm going to feel really good about myself. I'll feel grateful that I made a commitment and I kept it. That's important to me. Our last fragrance is going to be from Mansara and it's Oud Exclusif. So, I consider this a red juice. Okay, it's... it's it is red, it's more red than brown, but maybe you would say it's like a reddish brown. You know that, like red tobacco is beside me, I'm not going to do it in this video, but it is one of my favorite fragrances and it's really like extremely amazing, delicious. This is quite similar. Yeah. Oh my gosh. When something's good, like you can see it, like there's lots of fragrance, oh this is just there's lots of fragrances I like, but when something is like, to just to you personally, so it's different for everybody, but when something is like good, it's instant. It's, it just, it happens, it's like a, your visceral response is just like, ah, amazing, you know? I've gotten to places with fragrances where I worked with them, you know? Moody Boo says that a lot, that she's like working with different fragrances, and I do that too. I try something, I go, okay, it's not like, one of these is like instant, like this is juicy, sweet, woody, oody, smoky. It's like a deliberate, definite representation of what it is. You know, it's really clear. You smell this and you're like, okay, I got that. I'm sure that there's some people who don't want that kind of a thing. But for me, my favorite experiences are with fragrances like this, where I smell it and it's just like, it's an instant instant thing. It is like the feeling when you get your nose on something and you're just like, wow, that's a wonderful feeling. And I'm so happy to have this. And with that, folks, that's it. That is the end of my Santa Town Red tag video or untagged video uh, in the case that I totally got it wrong and I wasn't tagged, which is, oh my goodness, very possible, especially on a day like today. I want to thank you all for watching and congratulate Kane Kane. Uh, for winning the bottle of water lily tea dress and yeah if you guys made it through this one you're a real one